Hello, 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 and welcome to the one and only Hood Tennis TV. Hello, everyone. We're back in the hood again. It is tournament time. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go. Obviously going to be tough this year as the draws look like this. The men are going at it first and for the men's masters here we have the defending champion freddy the firecracker mp in session william kokoria the comeback kid mo the self-proclaimed king of plumstead harrison and the special one joseph hmm this seems to be a very tough group with the round robbie format and the top two to qualify for the finals but first Let's hear what the players of this group have to say. We met up with Harrison, the self-proclaimed king of Plumstead, and asked, what are your chances in this group? And this is what he had to say. Well, 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 I've been working hard and I've been trading hard. I'm not here to add up the numbers. I want to win this trophy. Everybody watch out, oh! And the Hood's reaction to this? <laughs> 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 but Harrison, you're playing two different categories. Can your body manage this? Are you up to the task? Eh, well, like I said, everybody, watch out. All my opponents, you're in for a big surprise. Next, our correspondent caught up with MP in session himself. Ah, Mr. MP, we just caught up with the self at Clean King of Plumstead. And he says you guys are in for a big shock that he wants this trophy. Your contemporaries, the comeback kid and the firecracker, believe you stand no chance. Can we have your comments, sir? New parliamentary sessions have resumed. No dictatorships allowed. A Nubian king presides. No firecrackers, comeback kids, special ones, or Plumston kings have a place in these proceedings. The new bill has been passed. See you on court. Oh, I think the MP means business this year. But does it scare the comeback kid? Stay Okay, okay. But Mo, you know you can't win this trophy with one shot. Please, keep that in mind. What about Freddy the Firecracker? What does he think about all this?
What? Freddy, 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 Freddy. How can you train indoor for an outdoor tournament? <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. I believe this group will appreciate this kind gesture. And what do other Hoodites think about this group? We cut off with old school Danny. And this is what he had to say. Right, well, it depends whether I enter it or not. If I enter it, Are you, you, play? Might, you might as well just give me the trophy now and pay your entrance <laughs> fee and I'll go home because <laughs> I don't like running around. But assuming that I'm not entering it, okay. I would say that the final will be... I haven't seen every... The Masters finals, what's going to happen? I haven't seen every person that's playing, but out of the people I have seen, I would say that the final will again be uh, William and Freddie. Okay. Uh, William's a very tactical player, very smart match player, good match player. All right. Uh, he's got a style. Freddie has got a similar kind of style, uh, but I think that Freddie just employs that style with a little bit more aggression, and I think that would give him the upper end. Oh, Danny. I actually beg to differ. And I believe some members of the hood will agree with me, especially these four. All right, folks. I think it's time that we wait and see how this group actually pans out and also watch to see if Danny's predictions come true. But for now, let's move into men's group one, where we have the likes of Boom Boom Eja, Mr. Sudi, Devi the rising star, last year's finalist, the coach Terry, the big George, and of course the defending champion the self-proclaimed King of Plumstead, Harrison. This is obviously going to be a very tough group. It seems and looks very open. It is all to play for. Our correspondent actually caught up with Boom Boom Ejaik, and this is what he had to say. They say you can't win it this year. What do you say to that? Well, see, see, Sonia. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the record to do the speaking for me. You know, uh, let's see how that goes. All know. right. You heard everything from the hood? Yeah. The chike. <laughs> boom, boom, serves. Yeah, That's well. The uh, one, one of the signatures yeah. out there. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's only the hood that racket actually tell tales. Let's wait and see if Mr. Boom Boom's racket will tell us a few stories before this tournament comes to an end. Okay, on to men's group two. Oh my lord, this group is made up of hoodites who, irrespective of the situations and conditions, always put out a battle on court. They create grudge matches, front matches, aggro matches, and even seven setups. There are disagreements, arguments, jubilations, and condemnation. Because of all this, there is a massive interest to see who wins this group eventually. The four most well-known members of this soap opera include the two-time defending champion Charles aka John Cotter, Victor aka The Spoon, Fred aka The Ugandan Craig, and last year's finalist Carlos aka Kalito's win. Our correspondent cut off with both John Cotter and The Spoon and pose this question to them. John Cotter, yes. your view of the tournament, are you winning it again this year? Yes, man, I know there are people after me, you know, but um, <laughs> I tell you something, the tennis I play this year will be a lot different, you know? All right, all right. Considering the, the fact, I'll be coming with two, two legs, not one anymore. All right, all right. <laughs> after those that are after me, and I'll make sure I win with style. You understand? The crane says you have no chance. What do you say to that? Well, that's talk is cheap. You know what I mean? Talk is talk cheap! Is... <laughs> this food? Yes. What's happening this year? <laughs> Who tennis tournament? Yeah, big shocks. Big shocks? <laughs> big shocks. Detronments. <laughs> Detronment. <laughs> are you detroning? Are you detroning? Are you detroning John, John Cotter? Cotter? I'm taking oh, his head off. Taking what? his head off? Like. John Cotter, what do you say to that? Man, talk is cheap. Skin is tough. Skin is tough. No knife can get through it, you know. Let, you me, let, it. let my tennis cut through Victor, share him in two. You know, the cut is ice. Interesting. <laughs> Skin is tough. Are you sure you I'm can do this? I'm, no, taking no, I'm taking him off. Also, old school Danny had something to say about this group. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue about that. <laughs> But a dark horse will be Freddy. Freddy, the one that never buys any tennis balls and just uses everyone else for the cheap. <laughs> All right. Wow! 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 
Oh my lord, what a tournament this is going to be. Your guess is as good as mine who's going to cut home this trophy. Just keep watching this channel and we'll do our best to update you on events. And just a quick reminder for those who want to be part of the hood. Come out to the tennis courts at Plumstead Common. Indicate your interest to be a part of us and we'll add you to our WhatsApp group. For now, Hoodites, are you tournament ready? Let's begin!